Alrighty guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about the absolute best Vanguard ETFs and index funds to buy for the year 2022. Now, all of these are ETFs and index funds that I currently own just because the long-term outlook on them are virtually off the chart. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, concerns, make sure you guys ask them down in the comments. And if you guys wanna learn more about investing in the market, check out my course. I'll put a link to that down below so you guys can check it, check it out. Start, starting off with the very first one here is ticker symbol BND. Now, a lot of people don't like investing in general general in the bond market just because it really doesn't move a whole lot, right? If we actually look at the year-to-date return on this thing, it doesn't look very good, but it only went from about $88 all the way to about $85. It's a very, very sluggish um, investment. But the beauty of investing in the bond market is it does have a nice upward trend in the long term. Not to mention, guys, the the way I invest in bonds is very, very untraditional. I almost use bonds as like a hoarding of cash. So the, the reason why I do this is because I feel like it's better to have something invested than hold cash. So I invest into the bond market instead of holding you know money in cash. The reason why I do this is because you can see over the past three years, we've had a return of about, you know, right at about 8%, which isn't the greatest, but it's just a very, very low risk. Not to mention you're gonna be getting paid about a 3% dividend to hold this. So you're gonna be growing at a pretty decent rate on the growth side, which is going to be very, very good. Not to mention you're gonna start compounding your account with these dividends coming in. So the way I think of investing in the bonds is just an alternative to holding cash. Now, I always try to keep about, you know, five to six percent of my portfolio in the bond market just because if something does become extremely undervalued, I am not afraid to sell my bonds and purchase something that's undervalued just because it's gonna obviously have a better ROI. So it's always smart, have a little bit in the bond market just to kind of have a defense in your portfolio. You will not regret it and with the volatility that the market has seen, this thing does not move as much, which is awesome. Now, the next one here is ticker symbol VIG. So you can see the three-year outlook on this is beautiful. Lows here at around 87, this is when we had that crash um, of you know March of 2020, then it just, exploded up. Now, the the reason why I love VIG is because it actually tracks all the top dividend stocks. It's a dividend appreciation ETF. So, you know, you're going to be getting a solid growth and you can see the year-to-date return is about 21%. Now, given that the S&P 500 gave about a 30% return, you know, yes, you're going to be slacking on the growth side, but it's going to be a way, you know, less risky investment, but still have a lot of upside because you're going to be getting a 20% return, not to mention you're going to be getting dividends, start compounding your account. As you can see, I'm a huge person into, you know, passive income, and this is one of the best ETFs to really get into. Um, now, the next and third one here is VO. So this is a mid cap ETF. So the mid cap market you can see had a pretty decent growth highs here at up about 25%, but right at about 20%. So the reason why I do love these uh, mid cap, uh, you know, ETFs is because they do track a lot of the smaller companies that are still very, very well established. It's going to be more of a higher volatility for the mid cap, but understand that at the end of the day, you know, we still have that solid growth, not to mention over the past uh, 30 years, the mid to small cap market has actually outpaced the S&P 500, which is very, very interesting because a lot of people want to find these next, you know, Amazon, Apple, all these massive companies which will make these stocks more sought after and make them go up in value. So it's definitely one to keep an eye on for this upcoming year. I'm definitely going to be buying more of it because in 2021, I only did buy about $1,000 worth of this one. So I'm going to be trying to put about five to 10000 into something like this. Now, the this next one is by far my favorite. This is ticker symbol VOO. So this is the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. So the reason why I love this is it virtually tracks the top 500 companies in the United States weighted by market cap. So we'll have companies like Amazon, Apple, Tesla, all these fantastic growth stocks and uh, the the virtually the top companies in the United States. So instead of picking and choosing 
uh, all of these very, very difficult stocks, it's better to just invest in the S&P 500. Now, here's a little stat. Now, 96% of hedge funds of hedge fund managers can't even beat the S&P 500. So if you're the average guy, you might as well just invest in the S&P 500 because the expense ratio for this is extremely low, around 0.03. So that is like $3 for every 10,000 you have invested, which is very low. And it's awesome. You can see it does have a solid return um, of about, you know, highs at about 27 up at about, you know, 26, 27. It did have a solid um, year, year over year return of about 35%, which is really, really strong. Now, the next one here is ticker symbol VT. So this virtually tracks the whole world um, economies, right? So in general, we'll have a ton of awesome companies, a lot of indexes in this one. It's going to be a little volatile, but you're still going to have a decent growth if we actually draw it out of about 16 to 20%, which is pretty decent. You're going to be getting some dividends to compound your account. This one is going to be a little more on the higher volatility side, just because you're going to be investing investing into other countries. And if you don't know much about other countries, then this might not be the one for you. If you just think that, hey, it's better to just dabble into some other economies, this might be a fun investment for you. For me, I only picked up about 500 share or 500, not 500 shares, $500 worth of this one in the year of 2021. So I'm definitely looking to pick up a couple of more shares in this next coming year. But guys, I did save the best for last. Ticker symbol VUG. This is uh, Vanguard Growth ETF. Now, once it loads up, because for some reason it's taking a minute, this is by far the best growth ETF you can have. In my opinion, it is way better than ARK, and I don't know why it's not loading up. So looking at ticker symbol VUG, you can see we have this beautiful upward trend. It, it hit that 200 moving average line and really has just been a powerhouse ever since. Looking at the year-to-date return, we're going to be looking at about a 31% return rate at about 29%, um, percent, which is actually fantastic. This is going to be outpacing virtually all the major indexes, the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500. Yes, you're going to be getting some dividends and you're going to be tracking virtually the top growth stocks in the United States. You're going to be having companies like Amazon, Apple, Google, Tesla, and a lot more of the riskier side. So yes, it's going to be a little more volatile, but in my opinion, this should be a go for virtually every investor because it's an awesome uh, ETF, tracks an amazing group of holdings, and I highly recommend it. But guys, you might be asking, <coughs> Carter, should I buy all these right now or should I dollar cost average it? Dollar cost average it for me so you can get a good average price for your shares, hold it for the long term, and let it ride. So guys, that is it. These are the top Vanguard ETFs that I would buy for the year of 2022. Um, virtually, I all, I hold every single one, but I'm going to be definitely buying more of it because I love it. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe. Take care, everyone. Peace out.